26-year-old Michelle Ivey is convinced she's a ninja turtle. Okay, you see this right here? This is what I see when I wake up at 3 a.m. after having a really bad dream about all my diamonds being stolen from my chest in Minecraft. This chubby little white chick in her 20s in a Ninja Turtle mask is my freaking sleep paralysis demon. And that's the sound I make when I realize she's here to take my anal virginity. Anyways, what is up guys? It's your boy Lofi here. And today we're gonna be looking at this delusional woman who thinks she's, uh, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And no, I'm not talking about the really old Renaissance painter dudes. I'm talking about these guys, the freaking mutant ninja turtles. Now, I don't have a problem with you, like, dressing up as your favorite characters and whatnot. You know, cosplaying and stuff at conventions. Okay, you know, that's alright. That's completely fine. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to have this Spider-Man costume that I used to wear underneath my clothes when I went places with my mom. But the difference between me and her is that she's a 26 year old woman who goes out in public and wears this costume everywhere and does things that the Ninja Turtles do. And I don't just mean fight people out in her front lawn and stuff, no. I mean like she eats like them, she sleeps like them, and she takes whole karate classes while wearing the Ninja Turtle costume. Now I'm no therapist, all right? I'm no psychiatrist or anything, but I think she might have a little bit of a problem. She literally lives, breathes, and eats Ninja Turtles. She's obsessed. But yeah, enough of me talking, let's go spiral down this rabbit hole of pizza nunchucks. For the last 14 years, 26-year-old Michelle Ivey has dedicated her life to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Damn, 14 years is a lot of time. Most people spend that much time in school getting their high school diploma, a doctorate's degree, but no. All this chick has is a furry suit and some mediocre karate skills. Michelangelo's my favorite turtle because he reminds me of myself. Calabunga! Okay, the only thing that she reminds me of is the girl version of Bling Bling Boy from Johnny Test. I mean, come on, she's got the haircut and everything. All she's missing is the white tracksuit and an overbearing amount of jewelry. Also, I like how the guy in the background is just like, what the actual f*** am I looking at? I thought furries like dogs and cats, not freaking turtles. Jesus Christ, dude, if I saw one of my neighbors out in their front lawn doing karate while wearing a full-body Ninja Turtle costume, I'd call animal control or just stay inside and never talk to them again. But I'm not gonna lie. If I had to choose 10 people to bring with me to the Area 51 raid, she would be one of them. Alongside with Keanu Reeves, Naruto, and Homer Simpson. Come on, dude! It's shell kicking time! I figured it was a face. <laughs> oh my god, what was that laugh? <laughs> that sounds like something you'd hear from an evil doll in a freaking horror movie. You just wake up in the middle of the night, you got a Ninja Turtle action figure hovering above you going, <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, dude, she sounds like she's choking on some spaghetti, not laughing. Drink some water, goddamn. She grew out of the Care Bears. She grew out of My Pretty Pony. She has become the, a Ninja Turtle. Pretty much. She's crossed over the line and has adapted a whole new personality. Okay, how do you just become a Ninja Turtle? The Ninja Turtles got covered in, like, mutagen and, like, this weird radioactive goo that made them grow up to be human-sized teenage Ninja Turtles. The only real-life equivalent to this nowadays is sending your boyfriend to Chernobyl to get radiation poisoning then having him come back and bust a fat nut on your face. I don't know what that goo will turn you into, but it's definitely not a Ninja Turtle. These here are my heads. <laughs> Yes, this is not my head. These are my heads. You know, some people collect Pokemon cards. Some people collect, you know, little figurines or like quarters and stuff. You know, some people collect Hot Wheels. She collects monstrous life-size turtle heads. Like seriously, look at this. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I have no idea who greenlit those costumes for the 90s Ninja Turtle movies, but they were clearly on like LSD or something. This does not look like something you'd let a kid watch. This looks like something straight out of a freaking horror movie. Michelangelo from Turtle three so any scene where you see michelangelo like when he goes wait really i'm just a beautiful princess in disguise ah sword break the spell give me a kiss how much do you want to bet that she has that entire movie memorized word for word not even just that one she probably has the entire series memorized i don't really feel like i can talk though because one time when i was 15 i watched the incredibles movie nine times in one day and i don't mean like spread out i mean like i watched it back to back to back to back it's just such a good movie like if i had to say my favorite movie of all time is the incredibles i freaking love it there's probably an alternate version of me out there that's just like this chick but a set of ninja turtles is with the incredibles this is one of the few things that keeps me awake at night because my Michelle works at a factory for a minimum wage. She takes out bank loans to feed her Ninja Turtle obsession. 
This had cost me $2,000. $2,000? That almost cost as much as my freaking car. Also, I like how she's going into immense debt to get Ninja Turtle toys. You know, most people go into debt, you know, to go to college, you know, to buy a car, to buy a house. But no, instead of buying a car, she decided she wanted a Ninja Turtle costume. And every year when she files her taxes, there's somebody at the IRS looking at her paper and seeing that she spent $2,000 on a Ninja Turtle helmet. The one thing I like now is that she has her own job, she's making her own money, and she can waste her own money on this stuff. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> Damn, and I thought my mom was disappointed in me for choosing YouTube over college. But this is on a whole nother level. You can just see the pain in their eyes as they just remember all the birthdays and Christmases where it's just continuously just Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles. These people probably look at a turtle and want to yeet it over their shoulder like a Linity did her cat. I paid $1,800 for Leonardo. Michelle's going high risk. She's willing to put herself in the debt in order to say, I have the head of Leonardo! That has got to be the weirdest flex I've ever heard in my entire life. Hey, yeah, you know me, I stay wrapped up in a Louis Vuitton, all right, Gucci belt, I got it all. Yeah, you know, I got the Supreme, it's just got the best style, the best feel, the best looks, all right, Supreme all the way. Oh, yeah, and I, I have, have the head, head of Leonardo. Leonardo! Like, what the actual f***, dude? That's not something to brag about. No one wants to hear about how you spent your entire college tuition on a freaking Ninja Turtles toy. Michelle lives on a strict Ninja Turtle diet. That means pizza every day, covered with bizarre toppings. I call you, dude. One pepperoni with pickles. Okay, I am making us a BLT pizza. Okay, so I work in a restaurant, right? And I get some really weird combinations of food. So the fact that she puts weird stuff on pizza, that doesn't bother me. What does bother me, though, is the fact that she's had pizza every single day for the past 14 years. How is she not dead? There is not enough nutrients in bread, cheese, and sauce to let you live. I guess all those extra toppings and weird stuff she adds on it is what's literally keeping her body going. Well, dudes, these are some moves that my master splinter has taught me to protect myself from people like him. Ugh, oh, the amount of cringe that just happened in the past two seconds, I, I almost can't handle it. Even her brother's over here looking like he wants to end it all right here, right now. This right here is how I feel right now watching this video. I, I, I can't. I genuinely didn't think it was possible for one person to embody so much cringe. But it didn't stop at the costume for Michelle. She even spent $5,000 on karate lessons, becoming a blue belt so she could fight like a ninja turtle. She's just a blue belt? I got my black belt right here, all right? It has my freaking name on it and everything. All right, if you're gonna, if you're gonna try to be a Ninja Turtle, at least go all the way. And I say, hey guys, you there? And, you know, they'll, they'll check in with me every now and then. What does she mean that they check in on her every now and then? How much you wanna bet she has some weird satanic ritual where she sacrifices a box of pizza covered in weird-ass toppings to get the Ninja Turtles to come and check up on her? I summon the Ninja Turtles at 3 a.m., not clickbait headass. <laughs> That hurt. That hurt. Bro, what? How did that hurt? She fell in a padded costume on grass. I've taken way worse slams than that skateboarding on concrete, and I've still gotten up and walked away from it. I thought the Ninja Turtles were supposed to be watching after you, huh? But they weren't there to catch you when you fell, now were they? When the Turtles entered my life, they taught me to be self-aware. They taught me to never hide behind any wall of who you really are, but to live your life as you want to. You know, I'm not gonna lie, this would sound like some pretty good life advice if it wasn't coming from someone who sounds like they're in a cult. I used to be so scared and afraid of who I am, but then, the Fire Nation attacked. Then they killed my parents and I had to become freaking Batman. Like, everything that comes out of her mouth just sounds so crazy and stupid, I can't take her seriously. Michelangelo goes, follow your heart guys, follow your heart. And then he breaks into the song called Follow Your Heart. I swear to God, if she starts singing along to this song, I'm gonna rip my ears off. That there's, there's no, no way that he'll get inside, inside of our hearts. Heart. Just remember that we're still here. The time has come to change it all, to wash away your fear. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. No golden buzzer for you. And as a former band student, her being off tempo and off pitch just really, really grinds my gears. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. That song changed my life because they taught me to follow my heart. <laughs> what the f? You know what song changed my life? 
Thick Niggas and Anime Titties by D-Bangs. That, that song truly a big turning point in my life, okay? It taught me that I need a big titty anime girl in order to be truly happy. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash a fat like on it. And if you're new, subscribe. Or not, it's up to you. But I would really appreciate it if you did. I know we recently passed 10k, which is freaking insane. That was my goal for the end of this year, and I've already surpassed that. And as I'm sitting here recording this, I currently have 13.9k, so that's, that's freaking awesome. Thank you guys. If you guys want to get more in contact with me and to see more about my life, follow me on Instagram. I also have a Discord server and a Twitch. I stream on Twitch a lot, so you should go follow all those. Links in the description. But anyways, I hope you all are having a really great day. I've been Lofi. Peace, peace. When you're standing at your window in your bed